course, we love to feature unique cuisine on our show, Northwest Arkansas Alive, but this episode's super special. It's gonna take place in maybe the most established and oldest structure of any of the restaurants we've featured. It's the Preacher's Son, a renovated church built in 1904. Let's go to church. Chef Matthew Cooper, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming, buddy. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing great, especially now that I'm here. I've always wanted to check it out. I've heard so much about it. Of course, the preacher's son. I'll follow you. Let's have a look. All right, cool. Yeah, you get to you get to witness the space in its in its glory. I love the daytime. It's super peaceful and quiet. So the building was built in, in 1904, okay. and it was at one point in time a first Christian church and we have renovated it into this beautiful restaurant um, wow. and really brought the aspects of nature, which we really love, into the space. The entire building is kind of like a tree, so the rooftop, we have three very distinctive spaces. So the rooftop is kind of like the canopy above the tree, and then this is right if you're sitting under that canopy, so everything is light and bright and airy, and then downstairs is the roots, and yeah. so our bar is like the roots of everything, so everything's heavy and dark and, and, and kind of secluded down there, so it's neat. Now, I've heard a lot about you as the head chef here, and we're going to get into some of your history coming up. But first, more of the dining experience. So there's different ways that you can have a dinner party, different types of seating. There's the bar area. If you can, just kind of take us around and show us the different experiences we could have just on this level. Yeah, for sure. I think our designers, they really helped us create this beautiful space with, that has these communal tables here that you can either experience with six to seven people. And then we have, of course, all of our little four tops. We even have a beautiful table back here that's called our bell tower. There was never actually a bell in this tower, but we have about 500 bells that it was suspended into this space to create it really nicely. Of course, these the stained glass windows that you see in this space are from George Dombeck, a local artist here that, that is pretty well known. We loved his, his prints and what he did, so we got those created into these beautiful uh, painted windows um, that kind of fill the entire space. Sure. And speaking of, how important was it to keep some of the renovation projects local? So I think it was hugely important um, because that's kind of what is really what our vision is, is to really be a part of the community and, and to really show how that translates in a, in a space like this yeah. from losing our local farmers to doing a 100% food recovery program with a company called Food Loops here in town that just started um, and then doing composting and stuff like that with some of our local farms and then just kind of pouring ourselves into the community where we can, you know, and making, yeah. making that difference. All right, from the bell tower table area to the bar area, show me the bar over here. Yeah, for sure. So again, we have three bars in the building. This is our, this is the Preacher's Son bar, so this is what services the dining room. What, what I really love about this is, is, is the big wall to uh, That's so illuminate cool. the space. The, the design is, is so you can come in and enjoy a beautiful space and enjoy some food that you can relate to, that you feel confident about, and, and, in, and enjoy everything. Yeah, I and mean, you just mentioned the key word food. That's what drives a restaurant, right. and the heart of every restaurant is the kitchen, and that's your baby. That is. Can we go visit your baby? Absolutely. Let's do it. All right, so this is where the magic happens. Absolutely. This is just a super simple strawberry salad with some really amazing burrata cheese. Now we're making our gnocchi, which is a traditional Italian potato dumpling. I'd love to try both dishes, but I'd like to try them in the dining room. You want to join me? Yeah, that sounds great. Let's do it. I'm excited. So here we go. So that's that, that's that cornbread I said was right there, about to come out of the oven. And so you came at the perfect opportune moment. This is uh, the citrus salad. This is the gnocchi. Right. Let's give it a try. And I told you this when I showed up, but I never actually eaten here. I've been here a bunch of times, but this food is amazing. You can really tell the passion, you know, just your love for it coming down to the presentation and to the taste. Before I try your famous cornbread, if you guys haven't been to the uh, Preacher's Son, come down, see head chef Matthew Cooper, taste some of the outstanding uh, menu items, and then take in the ambiance. Unbelievable. Thanks for having us out. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it very much. All right. Love it. Mmm. So good. <laughs> 